Plan B. And we hope you are enjoying <laughs> this <laughs> Sunday with us. Anton Ross together with Coach Hammer Martin and Tony. We did, we did that game, kasi, di ba, partner? Yeah. Last season. We did, and I, I believe that was late into the evening oh, as five well. Setter. Hannah Arguelles is with us at courtside for this matchup between Letran and Benilde. Let's see how Letran will respond. They had their chance to meditate, but Mitch Gamet is waking them up. Don't like any machine, mukhang nag-change oil lang ng maaga. Yung diesel engine ng vinyl. Ganun yan, di ba? Pagka-diesel, nag-change oil ka, medyo aantayin mo pang kumagat ulit yung makina. Tapos, dere-derecho na ulit papalo. Yun yung nangyari. Saka two games nga na ganun eh. Miss hit by Estoque. Martin had a superb start yeah. to this match. Three of the first four points of the Lady Knights ng galing kay Yen Martin. Unfortunately, di na na dagdagan in that opening set. Great pass. Great pass by Gintigan. I, know, I saw the spike. I know the spike is what was spectacular, but that was made possible by the perfect pass by Gintigan. Good that's reception. a that's a hammer of a spike. Yep, yep. Might be the best in the league right now. When activated, oh, bounce ball, you know. Martin with the pass. Estrelier back set to Netura. Pascual. Masyado malayo yung buwelo, pero ramdam mo sa'yo kasi eh. parang kulog na papalapit eh. The thing about Pascual, even when she misses, it looks good. <laughs> the technique is really pinpoint eh. Reps yan eh. Makin eh. Automated. Lahat ng, lahat ng ginagawa nila. There's the pass. Montoniedo to Sam Nolasco. And again, middle attack, which is the strength of their offense. Ito yung nakakatakot. Eh. Ako, ah, if, kung ako yung opposing coach, tas kalaban ko, alam ko malakas yung gitna nila, pero throughout the season, hindi pa nga na-activate yung Hentapa, Pascual, na alam nating parehas magaling na wing attackers. And, And there's Katigan again. Taking Dorog. It. Oh, she gets roof. There you go. The first kill block of the match for Letran. Good side-to-side -side action. Hindi na pekehan ngayon yung depensa ng Lady Knights. Mitura and Ledesma taking care of business right there and closing the window. A rare poor first ball for Benil. Dorog. Montoniedo to Zam. Good timing by the Letran blockers. Estrelier to Gia. And Makilang scores. And she doesn't stop. Kung may all rookie open spiker team tayo, I'm, I'm pretty sure names that would pop out would be Makilang and Habakon. <laughs> parang hindi rookie yung dalawa eh. <laughs> parang, parang hindi rookie <laughs> Bibo eh. And you, you love to see it. Ay, 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 ano? Oh, hey. Hindi ka pwedeng nonchalant pagka-attacker ka eh. <laughs> Pwede. Influensya mo to eh. Pati tuloy ako, inaaral ko na kung paano gagawin ko sa mga ganyan eh. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ako pwede maglabas ng unang post na hindi ko inaral eh. <laughs> hindi, happy, 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 lang. happy lang. Happy, happy lang. Estrelier to Gia. Oh, underneath the ball on that hit. And one thing that uh, Gia Makilang is, uh, would be a point of emphasis when she works on her off-season calendar after season 99, would be her landing. 
ilang beses na to na yung mga landings niya alanganin. For her to have a, a very long and productive career, kasi she has the talent and the hops and the ability to have one, yung mechanics niya, kasi nakikita mo, ah, youthful exuberance eh. Pag pumapalo, alanganin ni kadalasan yung mga landings niya. Pero magaling kasi skilled na nakaka-recover siya on defense right away. Makilang, Shinurbol, Mondoniedo, Makilang, digging that one up. Nitura, cross court, Pascual was there. Mondoniedo, pinigay kay Dorog, popped up by Estoque. Quick attack for Mitch. And then defense, coming alive here in the second set. Covering that attack by Dorog. So yung pagkukulang nila sa opening set, they're fixing it here in set number two. Nakailangan lang naman nandiyan dyan ka striking distance provide ano lang eh. Provide humps, kumbaga. Speed bumps ka lang dyan sa mga atake. Oh, wow! Mitch Gamit with a stretch! And when we come back, Hannah Arguelles will have another report for us. lives and with this show I hope that we're able to do that even more definitely sabihin ko na nga proud ako dun sa you know ayun sa akin kanina yun naka-proud ako hindi dun sa dun sa please be careful ito na sa pinanggit mo sa mga pinanggit mo nag-cover siya ng chest no challenge kay Anton yun with Eugene yeah GM practice yun May I just say, for these both teams, the sophomores are making themselves known and heard, especially with the likes of Judiel Nitura from the Lady Knights and Jessa Dorog from the Lady Blazers. These two women made big contributions for the wins of their respective teams, and I was able to talk to both of them. Para kay Judiel Nitura ng Lady Knights, kahit na sila'y nanalo laban sa Lady Bombers in their most recent match continuing their winning streak, ito daw ay dahil sa bagong kultura at sistemang pinakilala ni Coach O kung saan talagang nagsimula sila sa basics at yun ang attitude. Para naman kay sophomore captain Jessa Dorog, she gracefully acknowledged their undefeated status pero hindi niya ito gano'ng binibigyang pansin dahil they believe they're only as good as their last game. Thoughts on this, Anton and Coach Hammer? I feel like it's a transition season in the NCAA where we have some stars on their way out and yep. that's how it is in collegiate uh -huh. sports eto na yung mga papalit sa kanila. Yep. And it's a process always. And uh, you only build diamonds through pressure and trial by fire. Ganun lang naman yan eh. Makikita mo kung meron ka talagang blue chip recruit, pag in-expose mo na sila sa competition. And it looks like the Lady Knights have some and a little bit more on the way. Natuwa ako sa home court feature with Coach Oliver Almadro and the Letran Lady Knights, he was talking about saying, if you want change, you gotta change the culture. Totoo. And that's what he's starting dito sa Letran. If you want success, the culture's got to change. Oh, yun naman talaga yung nagdadali. In any sport, in any organization, you have to have that uh, stability, you have to get the buy-in from the players, and you need to have that leader that steers the ship to the right direction. Pascual. Martin. On the line? Oh, yes. yes. Right there, down the line. By Yen Martin. Four straight points. 4 zero run for the Lady Knights. Tama, four straight points. Nga. For the Lady Knights. Wow, a rare misread there by Getiga. Usually... Fiona or Pyong Getigan. Getigan calculates that one properly. Yun lang. Service error. Now, serving for the Lady Blazers, Jessa now. Estrelier. Estrelier back set. Judiel. It's going to be a rare free ball for the Lady Knights. Estrelier to Martin. No check. And good read by Getigan. Meron, no? Pino tong team na to ng Letran. Nakikita mo yung 
actions nila when it comes to their flow sa opensa at depensa. Nandun doon, fine-tuning ang kailangan kasi meron ng mga pyesa. Martin, Estoque, back set. Ooh, bounce ball! Goodbye! And if you're a player development coach, you want to take clips of Gail Pascual and her approach, arm action, and elevation sa video clips mo. Papakita mo sa mga bata. Kasi kahit sa backline, mo, she does the same mechanics over and over again. Martin, alham ni Gail at ni Mitch kung saan pupunta si Yen. Getigan will set up Estoque, popped up by Silva Estrelier. Tease it up for Yen Martin. Putting a variation on that attack. Sinubukan niya tatlong beses na malakas yung palo. Isa umoutside, dalawa na block. Konting ibang discarte dito. Just getting into that lay. Easy, easy. Smart play. Estrelier. Pascual. Mondoniedo. Back to Gale. Rinse and repeat. Same mechanics. She gets into that launching pad. Same arm action, same angle on the hit. Kahit saan mo siya papwestuin. Same approach. Textbook. Silva. Nolasco active at the top of the net. Pascual pops it up. Back set to Gale. Estrelier. Dorog, Mondoniedo to Estoque. And that's a check ball. Right on the line. Oh, poor first ball by Letran. Dorog. To Estoque on the approach, cross court kill. Finally, getting a series of attacks here in the Lady Blazers, courtesy of Willie Estoque. A little variation on that hit, because kanina didn't direct nanye. Di ma kamatay yung pinupunasan mo lang yung bola. Sinindi ka nang pinablock eh. Challenge. Hey, pangalawa, masadun. Masyado over when nag-aabang kayo na malakas na bola. Nakatapak naman yung block natin out of system eh. Wala nang gagawin. Dito siya pumunta kanina pa eh. Lara. At ang aga mo umabante. Bakit ka umabante? Tumatama sa kamay. Meron kukuha ng drop. Naintindihan? Eh, follow the pattern. Natalie, be aggressive. Hindi mo matay sa mga tayo. I want to see what Estrelier will do after Coach O just told her to be aggressive. Because aggressive in volleyball has different meanings huh? for players who play different positions. Exactly. Let's see if she'll get more daring with her sets and distribution. Martin. Gamit was there. Mondoniedo. Pinigay kay Estoque. 4 to 0 run here for the Minion Blazers. Three of them. Coming off attacks ni Willin Estoque. So, ito merong karga rin yung palo. Think for her to develop naman is her ball placement. Nakikita natin eh, malakas mumalo, pero minsan naglalock in lang siya sa isang spot na gusto niyang pagdalhan ng bola. Four-point lead for Benilde. Estrelier. Estoque is ready. Gamit. Estoque Silva was in position. Estrelier. And Tapang could not get it over the Benil Lady Blazers with a five point lead heading into this technical timeout. Alright, so now you know us. Um, Pili ko naman yung mga sports fans na nakikinig sa atin. 
you know, may isa na silang game na napanood na siguro lang, siguro lang na nandun tayo, na tayo yung nagko-cover ng game or at least we're somehow part of the coverage. All right. So, Game On is finally a podcast. We're very happy about this. Yep. Um, you know, we will cover kung dun po sa The Benil Lady Blazers and Coach Jerry is standing in the distance. In the close distance. Uh, letting them, letting the players sort it out. And that has been his approach ever since he started in the collegiate scene. I remember the very first TV match that I covered with Coach Jerry as the coach. He didn't say a word when the camera was focused on him. And years after, we get shocked when he actually says something mm -hmm. with the cameras rolling. No touch. That's the verdict of our referees. Estrelier, Mondoniedo, Estoque. No touch. No touch then. That's a palo ni Estoque. Mondoniedo to Nolasco. Net touch on that hit by Sam Nolasco. So Letra now putting a string of points. Trying to make a run here. There's the pass, Mondoniedo. Back set to Pascual, cross court. Judiel gets the point. So, ito na. Parating na. And I told you, Coach Jerry has been a little bit more communicative. It's going to be a free ball for Benil. Mondoniedo. Pascual. Bounce ball again. Goodbye. The same approach. Same attack. Same action. Textbook. And it only comes through reps. No, but yung landing niya, it's almost the same every single time. And yan din yung sabi mo nga, pag graduate na si Gail, ito din yung na invest niya na oras. A lot of hours put in since sa mga attacks niya. Jade Hendapa is in. One of the members of that Fantastic Four. We have to savor these last few matches with them here in the NCAA. Can you imagine an NCAA without those four? Hendapa, Mondoniedo, Gamit. Gail Pascual. And we shall see it in season 100. Don't worry. <laughs> but there's no rush to get there. Dahil yeah. they still have a crown to defend this season. So, antabayana natin yan. And Tapa. Mm. What a luxury it is to have Jade and Tapa come off the bench. Stabilizer, yes. I remember in season 97, there were talks as to whether Jade Hentapa was the best player in the league. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, Micah Goh, with her all-around play, was named MVP. But Hentapa, definitely one of the best spikers and high scorers for Benild. Makilang gives up a free ball. Dorog, Basarte to Christy Ondangan. 
tsaka itong lima na to nasanay ito last year as the second unit ni Coach Jerry So this is a little preview of the future for the Lady Blazers oh, pwede. Ledesma Good strike by Ledesma Hard oh. serve Sharp serve A rare miss received by Getigan Targeting Getigan oh, again. Oh, twice. Back to back aces. And off of Getigan too. And now Coach Jerry calls a timeout. Nawalan sila ng pasa. Aha. Uh -huh. Ay, unang bola, nagkakaroon ng problema eh. Back to back. And that is uh, shocking. Because we are talking about the Benil Lady Blazers here. Ditura, will she target Getigan again? Those are the things that just make you sigh. Momentum na. Momentum buster. Errors like that. It's like a, a vibe destroyer. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Makilang wakes them up, hopefully, with that spike. Check out. Now, Makilang will operate from the service line. Basarte to Hentapa. And here come Klo and Gail. Here comes the closers. To finish them off. One of the most dangerous servers in the NCAA, Klo and Montoniedo. You have Mitch Gamet at the net. And that's a check. Dangerous. Check. Ace. Check. For Cloan Montoniedo. Ano ba minamadali mo? Pag binitin balilis mo ba? Ibilisan niya, mapupuntas tayo. Ikaw din. Gamit sa timeout. Nasa ng maturity. Girls, we have to learn maturity now. As early as now. We don't I don't care about the result. We need to perform well and we have to be mature. Yeah. You have to learn these things. Do you understand? That's more like it. That's the coach O I know. I, I feel like in the beginning he was a little bit tame. No. But now, kailangan eh. Pero Anton, the key word on is the maturity. Maturity na. Yeah, you committed an error. You have to make up for it and adjust right away on the fly. Because that's one underrated thing naman kay Coach Owe, yung in-game adjustments na. Kasi pino to pagdating sa in-game adjustments. And Coach Oliver knows that they can snatch this one away. They're right there. But now, Almirante is in the pressure cooker. Gamit. Benil 
at set point. Jessa Doro got the service line. Makilang with the pass, Estrelier. Tapang! And finally getting a solid hit at the right spot at ang Silea Tapang. Could Coach O have been saving her for this match is what I'm thinking. Because Could be. Because be. last, se last season, she was number two in scoring for Letran. And to unleash her in this match against Benil, you know, makes me think. But Benil is still Benil. And they take set number two. 25 to 21. With the normal for their standards, mm -hmm. which is levels above the rest of the competition in the NCAA. We'll be back for set number three.